Hello, everybody. And by the title, I understand this. You might be a little interested in what I'm having to say. No, I am not saying Skyrim is a bad game. Far from it. I wouldn't have put 3,000 hours total into the game if it wasn't, you know? But I do have to be honest. It's a bad RPG. It's not great. And I want to talk about my reasonings as to why. So the first thing I want to bring up is the fact that Skyrim itself is a world you can get lost in. But after you have done a quest once or twice and you've seen the different available end results, unless you're going for a particular piece of loot, playing those stories again relatively soon after one another is not enjoyable. You know, you you almost kind of have to use mods to blunt the level of, you know, repetity of it. Now, could... I will I will say that while the world is very interesting, the combat, can, at least in Skyrim, is, you know, while it's not, you know, R- as RPG-like as previous games, it's certainly the more action-oriented nature of it makes it significantly more enjoyable long-term. God knows I do. You know, while the magic system itself, if in the spells on offer may not be fantastic in Skyrim, I personally find casting to be a very enjoyable way for me to play. I broadly speaking, love playing a spell sword build. But I have to be honest, you know, there isn't really much in the way of, if you want to roleplay as something, there really isn't much in the way of feeling that unless you're forcing yourself to do so. You know, even with something like, I don't know, Morrowind. Even though, like, you could pick a particular class, the, the, you know, you couldn't, you technically couldn't join every single faction in the game. So, I mean, you just fundamentally couldn't. You couldn't join, you know, multiple great houses. You, you know, every, every if you joined one faction, your repu- your, how much you're liked among members of another faction literally goes down. Literally, if you join the, if you if you join, say, the Mages Guild, you are liked less by House Telvanni, and vice versa. And most, if you are join the Imperial Legion, every single Morrowind based faction likes you less. I think it's only maybe the Mages Guild that likes you a little, still a little bit, because even the Fighters Guild doesn't like you as much. You know, so so like your actual choices in the game are centered around that role play, and you don't really have that in Skyrim. You can be the Arch Magus of the College of Winterhold, the Listener of the Dark Brotherhood, the uh, um, Harbinger of the Companions, and the fucking Guildmaster of the Thieves Guild, and there's no repercussions for any of those contradicting playstyles. You know, in theory, the Thieves Guild shouldn't like the Dark Brotherhood because. You know, they kill and the thieves don't like killing. It's not against, it's bad for business. You know, ma- mages sh- should, you know, warriors shouldn't like, if you join the companion, any other fa- of the four main factions that aren't the companions, like, they'll not like you. Like, the only faction that they lore wise should enjoy, like, be okay with you is maybe the Bard's College. You know, and, you know, if you're in the Dark Brotherhood, like, they're probably, they're not gonna, they're not. Prob- they're they're re- they're t- supposed to be religious cell. It's not really. They're more of like a normal faction, at least for most of the story. But they shouldn't. But given how culty they are, they wouldn't want. Probably wouldn't want you to be a member of, you know, a no- be a member of like an other factions. Godspeed. Like freaking Astrid's husband is a former member of the Companions. He he, sh- he shouldn't want you there. Like he, like he shouldn't want someone who's still an active member of the companions, with part as one of him, as one of them. 
And the mages college, they don't want thieves. They don't wouldn't want you to if they knew you were if they wouldn't want you to be a part of like the thieves guild. And they probably wouldn't want you to be a companion either because they look down on big muscly dumb big muscly dumb idiots. You know, having like you but you wouldn't be able to experience certain pieces of content otherwise. Like you literally have to join. Like start the process of joining the mage the College of Winterhold to even progress in the main storyline, for Christ's sake. That paired with, you know, heavy armor supremacy, um, the general, like, how weak some of the skills are by default, and broadly speaking, the lack of, the like, a lot of the quests having a severe lack of replayability it, it, it kind of makes sense that like you don't that you don't really feel as much like this this might not be true for everybody but personally and for me and many others I've talked to have put as many hours there is the consistency it's, it Skyrim is not a good RPG it is a great game but it is not a good RPG it is a world you can be lost in and that is broadly speaking, what I see Bethesda moving towards. That's what they have kind of gotten better at doing, you know? I get lost in Bethesda's worlds, the worlds they build. I want to see everything, find everything, look under every nook and cranny. It appeases the loot goblin side of my brain, but do I really want to go do the Companions quest for the eighth time? Not at all. Mods help, certainly, but even then, like, even to today, to in today, I have a hard time sticking with it. I think, I think what I, one thing I'm certainly going to do, is, especially before Starfield comes out, is I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take the time to go play through both Skyrim and Fallout 4 again, and maybe on stream and just in, enjoy it. Just take my time. So... <laughs> You know, something like Cyberpunk, despite all its issues, feels more like an RPG you're role-playing in. Because they because you're not doing anything and everything. You're given three distinct backstories, and you role-play within those backstories. Now, you can be as much of a dickhead or, or virtuous as you want to be within that, but because of the relatively narrow scope of role-playing, it makes the role-playing experience significantly better. And... You know, despite the launch issues on on the Xbox One and uh, PlayStation Four, Cyberpunk is, in my personal opinion, despite all of the issues that it had and the in the negative press that stains it, one of the better RPGs that have come out in the last few years, at least mainstream ones. In conclusion, Skyrim is a great game. It's lacking a lot of the things that I feel would make it a better role-playing game. And frankly, if you're you can it's hard to make a good role-playing game that gets you as absorbed in the world, you know, with while while also giving you plenty of options. Now, you can play The Witcher for hours, but you're not role-playing as Gunny McGuffin, the stel- the the stealthy the stabby stabomancer who uses magic and stealth to slay his enemies. You're playing as Geralt of Rivia, and I think, while I think, in a, I think the abundance of choice given by Bethesda Games is is to its benefit. I find it hard to to I find it hard to enjoy the games from an RPG standpoint long term, and it's part of the reason I will say I do like Fallout Four, the crafting, the settlement building, and all that nonsense makes the experience significantly more enjoyable and it would be a lot harder to replay the game without them final thoughts Skyrim's still good and if you somehow have not played it and by by this recording date of recording in the year of our Lord 2022 you should go do so and enjoy it being able to play Skyrim from beginning to end would is certainly an experience that I wish I could do again.